You should have destroyed those things long ago. Oh, and put the happiest time of my life to a paper shredder? Never. These letters and pictures, they're all I have left of my relationship with Sam. Yes, but they're also the proof that even a Sam's son, I mean, it's so Oh, what difference does it make now? I didn't heed your warnings, okay? And I made the biggest mistake of my life. I never should have told Sam that he was a his father. Oh, all I can do now is hope and pray that he just doesn't take me seriously, that he sort of... No, Ethan is your child. Yours and mine. Ethan is our son. I know you don't want to hurt Gwen, that you're all torn up about having to break off your engagement, but together, you and I will work it out with Gwen. All we have to do is tell her the truth. It'll be hard for her, but in time, she'll understand that love is everything. It's the only thing that matters. And when two people love each other as passionately and deeply as you and I do, nothing can stand in our way. We'll be together forever, Ethan. We'll have a wonderful life. Teresa. Teresa, are you still there? Hey, you, uh, want a decamp or something? Oh, no, I'm fine. But, um, what are you doing here? I mean, you should be home in bed. You should have never left the hospital to go to the prom anyway. Hey, look, it all turned out okay. So, uh, ain't no use Monday morning quarterbacking, right? Yeah, I guess. Anyway, I stopped by for a cup of coffee and Beth asked if I wouldn't mind closing up for her. I said yes, because A, she's good people, and B, I never turned down work. And that's something I learned from my, my many years at the University of the Streets. Hey, don't worry. It's all going to work out. That heavy-duty question you got running through your mind. You don't know what I'm thinking about. Oh, yeah? How's this? You can't sleep because you keep thinking about this guy and this girl. You're not sure if this guy feels the same way for this girl as she feels for him. Well, I can tell you right now, he's crazy about it. Look, just have your reports on the prom boat sitting on my desk first thing in the morning. Chief Bennett needs to wrap this case up as soon as possible. Thank you. I need to talk to you, officer. All right, now look, hold on a second there, Agent Freeman. Now, I don't know how it works with the FBI, but around here, we try and help each other out. Now, you can't just come in here and lay on me that the French drug cartels hired some local guy to finish off Sheridan without giving me a name or some kind of description. You're right. Now, you know, Harmony may be a small town, not as sophisticated as some of... What'd you say? You're right. The call I was on just now was about Miss Crane's new kidney. Well, who is it? What would you say if I told you it was the guy you've got guarding Miss Crane right now? Your old buddy, Hank Bennett. Look, Sharon's alive. She's going to stay that way, okay? I won't do it. Do you hear me? I won't kill her. It's your last chance, Hank. Do it or suffer the consequences. What are you saying? Exactly. You have family here in Harmony. Your brother, his wife, their kids. No, you wouldn't. Of course I wouldn't in New York Minute. Now, their lives are in your hands, Hank. You can kill.
kill Sheridan and Crane, or I'll start thinning out the Bennett clan. Now, what's it gonna be? You're right, Sam. It is very late. Look, I don't care. You wake her up if you have to. She owes me some answers, and I want them now. Teresa, look, if you're still there, I have to talk to you. Look, Teresa, don't be upset. I didn't want to hurt Gwen. That's why I told her I don't have feelings for you. But I didn't mean what I said. I mean, of course I have feelings for you. Do you? I'd be crazy not to. I knew it. I knew you loved me. I've got to find her. My dreams are about to come true. I'm first. Are you sure? I mean, are you sure? I got that the same way. You could take it to the bank. I don't know. Well, you never notice? When they're in the same room together, the temperature goes up a hundred degrees. The first time I saw Teresa and Ethan hanging out together, I totally got the big picture. Even if Ethan was a little slow on the uptake. Mm -hmm. right, uh, yeah, right. Um, Teresa and Ethan. That's what you were thinking about, right? Well, <laughs> well, yeah, of course. Who else would I? Who else? Who else? Wait a minute. You thought I was talking about you and me, didn't you? No, no. Oh, come on. Now, Whitney, we both know you're the world's most terrible liar. Okay, when I said that that guy would turn the girl's feelings, you were happy for a second. And you thought I meant us. And where the hell do you get off accusing my best friend of being a hired killer? The guy wouldn't have heard a fly, much less Sheridan Crane. He's nuts about her, which is the reason that I asked her to watch out for her while I'm busy. All right, all right, all right, calm down, officer. No one's accusing your friend of being a hitman. It was a hypothetical question. That was a damn stupid one. Not really. I wanted to know how you'd feel if the person hired to kill Ms. Crane turns out to be someone you know. That's a lot. We already oh. know it's a local. Who's to say it's someone you've never met, personally or professionally? My point is, you've got to suspect everyone and trust no one, not even your oldest friend. And my point is, you can scratch Hank Bennett's name off of that list. Yeah, he's made a few bad judgment calls in his life, but he wouldn't hurt anyone. Now, the guy doesn't even know how to load a gun. Want to play turn on some music? Yeah, anyone you want. See no 
puedo olvidar. better than anyone what Ivy's been through tonight. She needs her rest. too bad. She opened this Pandora's box, and now she's going to have to deal with the consequences. I can't allow you to disturb her, Sam. I'm sorry, but you can't stop me. Do it for Please! You could wake up Mr. Crane. I don't give a damn about Julian. I'm not leaving here until I get the answers I came for. You thought I was talking about us, didn't you? You don't know what you're talking about. No. Well, before you seem to have an awful lot of negative things to say about Teresa admitting how she feels to Ethan. Well, that's because it's bound to end in disaster. You know what I think? I think bottling up your emotions for so long that you start to question whether you've even got him. That's bound to end in heartbreak. Well, I'm not bottling up any emotions. And you could have fooled me. You know, I think you came in here tonight because you had an idea that you'd find me. Well, that's just ridiculous. I came here to maybe see if I could find Teresa. She went to talk to Ethan again about asking him whether he loves her as much as she loves him. And I'm worried about what he said to her. What if he told her that he loves her? Well, that's never going to happen, so we don't have to worry about that. Now, you see, that's always a place where you and me part ways. Because I'm so counting on my man Ethan to get his act together and realize that the woman he wants to spend the next 50 years of his life with is Teresa, not Gwen. Now, if he can come clean about where his heart is really at, then maybe there's still hope for you, too. Hello, Lisa. Hello. How you doing? You want some coffee? Oh, yeah, thanks. Are you okay? It <laughs> couldn't be better. Hello. Well, what is this Cheshire Cat smile all about? Did Ethan tell you he loves you more than Gwen? No, we were interrupted before he could, but it was so obvious he was just about to. But he didn't actually say the words. Well, no, because... No, but nothing. Teresa, if he felt the same way for you, he could have said it by now. But the fact that he didn't gives you your answer. The answer is no, Teresa. No. No, wait, you weren't there. I saw the look in Ethan's eyes, and it said more than any words. I don't believe Ethan. that you are pinning all your hopes up on some look, Teresa. It's real, Vic. Look, I don't want to burst your bubble, Teresa, but you're dreaming. Ethan doesn't love you. He never has, and he never will. I do have feelings for her. I have to talk to her. I have to tell her how I really feel. Well, just for the record, I was born and raised in this town. And I'm telling you right now that not one of them is a hired killer. Maybe it's an amateur and this is his first time out. And if a drug cartel has even a modicum of smarts, they pick someone without a record. So you're saying that a computer search of the usual suspects will yield nothing. That's where you've got to be extra careful. You got to have eyes in the back of your head all the time. We don't know what the killer looks like or how he operates. And even though you hate the idea, it could be anyone in Harmon. Even someone you don't want it to be. Thank you. 
Ivy, Sam, Ivy, wake up. Please, please let her sleep. Sam, Sam. She almost drowned tonight because of, she was so weak from that gash on her head. I still need to talk to her. She told me something while we were in the water. Something that could change my whole life. Do you know what I'm talking about? How could I? You're Ivy's closest confidant. You're the one person who knows we have an affair. And you've kept our secret all this time. Do you know another secret that concerns me? Isn't it enough that I know you were once lovers? That on Ivy's uh, wedding night to Julian, she ran to you. She told me we have a son. She told me Ethan is my son. I'm not going to force you to betray Ivy. But I promise you, I'm going to find out the truth. Sam, if you have to talk to her about this, I beg you, please just do it in the morning. What's that? Sleeping pill? Um. Ivy takes them sometimes, and when she can't sleep. I believe she took a couple tonight. All right. Well, I'm going to let you now. But you tell her from me. I'll be back. I'm really sorry to lose that. I just can't stand to see you feeling like this. Like, you know what's best for everyone. If you'll please excuse us. I'm trying to talk to my best friend again. Well, maybe your best friend don't want to be hearing all this negativity right now. I mean, it's one thing to step on your own dreams, but why not be your best friend a solid by leaving hers alone? It's all right, Chad. No, 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 you know what? I ain't finished. Now, suppose somebody told you to quit playing tennis because they thought that you were never going to make the Olympics or uh, that uh, fancy tournament in England. It's Wimbledon. And look, it's not the same thing at all, okay? I actually have a real chance to play championship tennis there one day. It's been my dream forever, and I've been working very hard towards it. And from what I can see, Teresa's been working just as hard to get Ethan. So, Teresa, look, it may be some of my business, but I don't think you should give up, okay? Not until you hear from Ethan's very own lips that he doesn't love you. Thanks for being in my corner, Chad. Sure. You love Ethan? You do whatever it takes to get him. Don't tell her that, Chad. Why not? Sometimes things in life don't come easy. Sometimes you gotta go out there and fight for it. With everything you've got. Yeah, well, I better get back to the job you hired me to do. As much as I trust Hank, guarding Sheridan sure isn't easy. Why is it so tough? <laughs> well, where should I start? Her total disregard for her own safety or the fact that she's more stubborn than a two-year-old. You know, I'm telling you, the only way I think I could keep her safe is to handcuff her me until this headman's car. And since that's not possible, I have another idea. Well, listen, we could get someone else in to back you up. I thought you said the FBI didn't have it in its budget to hire another car. We don't. But what if we deputize a civilian? Someone you trust. Somebody absolutely above suspicion. I've got no problem with that, but you already know who I'd pick. Thank Bennett. That is with her right now. You that sure about him. I'd trust him with my mother's life. Now, if that isn't enough for you, he's Chief Bennett's younger brother. Okay, Hank may be a little wild sometimes, but the guy doesn't have a bad bone in his body. Hey, don't shoot! There's no one out there! Are, are you sure? I could have sworn I saw someone move. If there was, it was the wind. Damn it, this is all a waste of the fall. How do you figure? He has us walking on eggshells, thinking that there's a hitman behind every tree. This is crazy. And I don't think there's anyone in harmony who's trying to end my life. This is so stiff from all this tension. Well, I'll give you a massage. It's a good thing Luis isn't here. 
You saw your hands on my neck. You probably jump you thinking you were trying to strangle me. There is nothing you can do. You heard Sam. He will not let this go until he finds out the truth about himself and Ethan. Now, oh, Corey, and all the proof he needs is right here. Well, it's only a matter of time before he finds out anyway. Oh, God, my son is my life. And now I've destroyed his future. Unless... Unless what? I've got to destroy everything in him. <sighs> I can't believe you're telling Teresa that anything goes when it comes to love. Well, what about telling lies? People get hurt when you tell lies, don't they? Well, look, I draw the line at sticking knives in people's backs, okay? But, yo, a white lie here and there, sometimes you've got no choice. You know what? You are unbelievable. Do you know that? No, you are awfully self-righteous about the truth when you can't even be honest with your own self. I don't know what that means. Like I said. You want to win? You got to play the game by the same rules as your opponent. You keep talking about love like it's some sort of game. No wonder some people don't have a whole lot of trust in their relationship. Some people? Well, it certainly doesn't inspire a whole lot of faith when certain people make it sound like love is all about deception. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go putting words in my mouth, okay? Look, love is about being real. About being on the up and up with yourself and everybody else. Okay, look, some, sometimes some people need a little nudge or a little push to show another person how they feel. And then there's some other people who are so bullheaded and so stuck on being right and safe that they wouldn't know the truth if it came up to them and smacked them in the face. Are the two of you going at it about Ethan and me or the two of you? <laughs> you know, I think we better get going. Hey, yeah, no problem. Yo, good luck. Anybody with the guts to fight for what she wants deserves to get what she wants. You haven't been through enough tonight? She thought you put in a couple hours here? You know, every little bit helps. <laughs> well, that's you, man. What you doing, uh, prowling the night at this hour? Well, I thought someone might be here, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, anybody I know? No. No, it's not important. I don't know it could be more important than uh, trying to figure out how you're going to spend the rest of your life with. What are you getting at, Chad? Come on, man. Don't try to hide it. You came in here looking for two weeks. What's up? Everything all right? If you mean am I still alive, it seems I am. What a miracle, considering all the bad guys that are lurking out there who want me dead. Yo, know, I know you're just waiting to get to me, but it's going to have to wait a second. Let me talk to Hank. 
Look, I got some serious and bad news from a man at the FBI. <laughs> Didn't anyone ever tell you that it's rude to talk about someone who's in the same room? Well, then leave. This is important. So what's the deal? Well, the deal is, they got a tip. Drug cartels hired someone local to uh, take out Sheridan. You're kidding? No. That was all I could do to convince Agent Freeman that you weren't a likely candidate. They, they thought that it could be me. <laughs> no, not really. He was just using me as an example. No, I convinced him that they were so far off base. Now he wants to deputize you to help me guard Sheridan. What do you think, big guy? Well, I mean, it, it sounds like a plum gig, but I just don't think timing's right right now. Come off it. I know why you're not jumping to You're just worried that something's going to happen to Sheridan on your watch. Come on, man. Don't worry. I'm going to risk your life for it. Go ahead, Paula. Say it. Say it. You told me so. Oh, not once, no. A thousand times. Did I listen? No, no, no. I couldn't keep the most important secret of my life to myself because I had to have Sam. Don't do this to yourself. It will not do any good. No, you're right. The only thing that will do any good at all is getting rid of all of this stuff. <laughs> Damn! I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't burn all of this. There's pictures of, of Ethan and, and Sam and our time together. It's all just too important and too precious just to destroy. But aside from what you told Sam, they're the only proof that Ethan is his son. If someone should find them by accident... Well, I won't let that happen. I will do whatever it takes to make sure nobody ever finds him. But I can't burn the memories of my son's life. I... Oh, God, below, what have I done? God, what have I done? Grace. What are you, t what are you talking about? Sam. What happened? You called out my name. I'm really upset. I think you're having another one of your nightmares. Again? Yeah. Uh, sorry, sweetheart. I didn't mean to upset you. Don't be silly. As long as you're okay. I don't think you woke up the kids. Good. Oh, boy, Sam. You are always here for me. That's why I love you so much. Mm. Mm. I'll always be here for you, Grace. Never think I won't. Mm. You know, I don't know how somebody whose life as perfect as mine could ever have nightmares. Are you finished talking about me yet? I guess. Congratulations. I'd be happy to know you've got your way again. What do you mean? Well, you made quite a stink when they named me a personal watchdog, and uh, like I said, you'll be happy to know that I won't be guarding you 24-7 anymore. Why not? Thanks for being my new backup. My right, buddy? You got it. I, I don't understand. So I I'm going to have two bodyguards now? Well, sometimes we'll both be guarding you, but more often than not, you'll be alone with one of us. You see? 
Your prayers to get me out of your hair have been answered. Well, I'll be right back. I'm going to go put a security sensor on the back gate. I've done a lot of things tramping around the world, but I've never been a bodyguard. Don't worry, Hank. You'll be great. Nothing's going to happen to me because I'm not in any danger. It's all over Luis's head. Lisa, what are you doing? This is the place, right? This is where Ethan first showed me how he felt. This is, this is right where he kissed me. Lisa, you are living in a dream. So if I'm dreaming, it's coming true. I mean, it's, it's like the lieutenant. Being with Ethan is all I've ever wanted and looked for as long as I can remember. You know what? I don't care what you have there is a big difference between you trying to get Ethan to fall in love with you and me being a tennis girl. Look, I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm just concerned about your feelings, please. I, I appreciate that, but I am willing to take the risk that it won't end up that way. Now, why are you with Jack? Well, first of all, I'm not in love with him, so there's nothing for me to take a risk about. Okay, lie to yourself, but don't lie to me. You know what I would do if I were you? No, Lisa, and I really don't want to. I would run. Not walk straight back to the book cafe and, and try to catch Chad before he closes up. Talk to him, Whitney. I mean, really talk to him. Put whatever you're both feeling on the table and let whatever's going to happen happen. Well, like you said, that's what you need to do. Not me. So you know what? I gotta get home. I practice in the morning. So. Well, I'm gonna stay here for a while. I think you can be here by yourself, Teresa. I'll be fine, go ahead. Thank you. I know that you love me, Ethan. I know wherever you are right now, you're thinking about me. Just like I am thinking about you. So why do you think I was looking for the reason? But for one thing, you just missed it. Thank <laughs> you.